Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are talking about all my favorite things from September. And I have to admit, a couple of them I am a little bit late to the party on. So you might have these things already, but I figured if you were stubborn like me or holding out for some silly reason, um, I would share them so that you would go ahead, give in, realize it's not hype and the products really are awesome. So I'm going to start with those two and then I'm going to go to one that you might not have heard of before and then one that is more of a public service announcement, a PSA for um, all of the sewists out there. So the first one is this bobbin holder. Um, this is by Euro Notions and readily available at any fabric store. Um, I got mine from Joanne. They have them available at, at Amazon. And like I said, a lot of you probably already own one of these. And if you do, congratulations. But I just got one this month. And I really don't know why I waited so long. I had one of those little plastic boxes and I thought, oh, this is fine. Like it's doing the trick where I was even putting the bobbins on my thread holder. Um, for a while, I did have the matching bobbin thread with the spool of thread, and I still do that for ones that I have matches for, but for others that randomly I have extra bobbins, this thing really is better than that little plastic box thing or really any other solution that you have. And mostly it is so great because, as you know, there's no way to like lock in bobbin thread. The ends of it always hang out and the bobbin can come unwound but when you stick them into this little thing it's like rubbery so it holds the threads in I mean they're definitely hanging down but it's not unraveling any more than you know the width here so and I could go a step further and organize these by color like a color wheel which I'm sure would be pretty but I just got it so I just stuffed them all in there I was just really finding too that a lot of my bobbins were all over the place and I also was having a hard time finding empty bobbins when I knew that I should have them um, so in other words just having them all in one place um, that is a having them all in one place in a way that they can stay neat and tidy um, is really really helpful. Bonus is you can literally hold this upright as you can see I'm doing right now and they don't fall out. So you can hang this on a hook um, if you have one of those pegboards or I don't know whatever storage solution you have so it doesn't take up precious shelving space um, like we all need um, for other things like fabric. <laughs> so yeah the um, I'll link this in the in the description box below. It's called the Bobbin Saver. Love this thing. Okay, the next one is Wonder Tape. Again, I know a lot of you out there have used Wonder Tape, probably been using it for a very, very long time and love it. But for whatever reason, I had not used it until this month. I actually owned some, well, I probably bought it definitely this year, maybe over the summer. So it is a recent purchase, but um, I just never pulled it out. I don't know really why, but I know that I got it to try and match up zippers, you know, waist lines for zippers. I know that that's really tricky. Um, and a lot of people had said that Wonder Tape did the trick and they are all right. Um, it did do the trick. It makes it so much easier, like pretty much foolproof to match up anything if you have to match up stripes if you have to match up multiple seams if you whatever you're matching up across the zipper or any seam for that matter um this stuff really really does help you it's super easy to use you just unpeel a portion of the tape you lay that over the right side of your fabric and then you peel away this little white backing it leaves a very thin strip of i mean it's like fabricy but it's still sticky tape but it's not super super sticky you know what I mean like it's not going to gunk up your needle in your sewing machine um and it's not super thick so you can feel it in between the seam 
Anyways, then you lay your zipper tape or your other side of your fabric, whatever it is that you're trying to stick together or line up. You lay that over the other side, stitch over it, and when you are all done, everything has stayed into place, nothing shifted, um, everything is exactly how you wanted it. Um, this stuff washes away after your first wash or it's water soluble. So you can take like a sponge or something if you just want to spot. Um, remove it you and like if you're using dry clean only fabric or something that you don't want to put in the wash um, just you know spot wash it spot wash it with um, like a little sponge or even your fingers and some water and it comes right off so wonder tape it really is wonderful it's awesome again link down below okay so now that I got those two things out of my system sold on both of them um, I have been on the hunt for just some better options for marking fabric. I just have never found anything that I really loved. I've tried the markers, I've tried the pins, I've tried the little triangle piece of chalk, I've tried so many different things. And then I came across this. This is by Clover. I'm not exactly sure what it's called at the top of my head, but basically it's this hard plastic tube and inside the tube is like free chalk, like, like loose powdery chalk. And at the very, very top is this itty bitty teeny tiny wheel. And as you run the wheel over your fabric, it draws a very clear, um, thin, um, very um, precise line. Um, and the chalk in here is yellow. So yellow works on white fabrics, dark fabrics, printed fabrics, you know, whatever it is. Yellow is a really good color um, to have. It works for most um, fabrics but I just love how it's like tapered at the end and how that little wheel is so small that you can really draw like a really precise line um, and know exactly where that mark is supposed to be what I found with a lot of the other products was that the line was so thick that it was hard it was just wasn't very accurate I didn't think but I feel like this is super accurate I've been using it to trace everything so I've been using it to trace the outer edges of fabric if I'm working with something that's a little shifty um, so I'll trace the outline of it and then cut it out um, or to draw in um, like dart lines or any other marking lines that you have on your pattern um, I really not stopped using it ever since I got it um, which is why it's a favorite um, it's really really awesome and you can refill it so you don't have to buy a whole nother thing um, you can just buy the chalk and refill it with the chalk and I think also I'm pretty sure they have other colors too um, so if you didn't want yellow you could do something else but yeah this clover chalk marker thing majig is my third favorite Okay, so my last favorite, this is the PSA portion of the video, is for muslins. I have been muslining up a storm this month, um, making, I, I was going to make one dress and so I muslined it and then I realized after muslining it that it wasn't going to be right for the fabric that I was going to use, so I went in a different direction and then muslined another dress twice um, both two versions of that dress so all in all between muslining the different versions and then making adjustments to those versions I'm 99% sure I made like five or six muslins this month and I get that it's tedious and a little bit fruitless in that you do all this work and then you don't have like an actual wearable garment but it just reminded me of doing that again it just reminded me that Fit is really important and also it's better to spend that time muslining than to waste time or fabric um, making something that isn't actually wearable. Um, but for me, I just took scraps of, I think these are mostly quilters cottons or like this one is a um, seersucker, this is a linen. Um, I don't know I've got all kinds of different things in here these are clearly not wearable but I was able to 
um, do the, the next best thing that muslins provide and that is make fit adjustments. Um, a lot of times the adjustments that you need you cannot make after you have sewn it up in your fashion fabric. Sure, you can take in a little bit here and there, but um, to, to really get it right and do it the way it was supposed to be done, you need to, to do that from the pattern piece and not from a 3D piece. So um, I really feel very confident in the projects that I have made um, or that I will be making from this. I haven't actually made this into anything. I have the shell of this one done and I really feel confident that it fits the best that I know how to get it to fit right now considering my skill level. And that confidence goes a really long way. Um, you know, you just feel better in a garment that fits really well. So with all that said, um, muslining is my fourth favorite of September. And I hope that if you haven't ever muslined anything before, that you will find something worth muslining <laughs> and not just diving right in. Trust me, the, what I always want to just dive right into my projects and get working on them. But um, sometimes it really does benefit you to take the time and you know make the muslin adjust for fit test how the fabric's going to work um in this particular pattern um and and yeah i think you'll just be much happier in the end and isn't that what we all want successful well-fitting beautiful garments that don't look like we made them let me know in the comments below if you've found anything that is your favorite um but it can be a favorite notion it can be a favorite technique it can be a favorite you know pattern designer or online fabric shop or person or whatever just let me know what your favorite from september is um if it's something i haven't heard of before maybe i'll try it and it'll get featured on a future video um giving you credit of course um but that's all for today thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye